everyone, my name is Tian Feng, and I'm a software engineer on DevX team here at Sauce Labs. Thank you so much for joining us for this year's SauceCon and for joining us for this session. Not just Selenium, optimizing different automation frameworks. Today, I'll be talking about what kind of issues are facing developers and testers when using different kinds of automation frameworks and how they can find success. Let's get into it. There are many unique challenges developers face when quality begins to shift left. As engineers assume more responsibility for the quality of code that they create, they do so knowing that it has the potential to accelerate release cycles, improve their productivity, and overall allowing them to create better experiences for customers. But just let's consider functional testing represented here by uni and component testing. There has been an explosion of number of different automation tools, test runners, and requirements for the infrastructure. It's becoming an increasing crowded space. All of this born from the fact that developers have their own needs to ensure they can incorporate quality without slowing down any other process. Now, with all of these different kind of automation frameworks, there is always going to be preferences that developer will have, as well as different skill sets and preferences found within organization overall. So how do having all of these automation frameworks affect our testing teams and team progress? First, automation capabilities are insufficient. Setup is too difficult and fragile and tooling has the possibility of not knowing compatible with other tools within the organization. There can be a lack of determinism of what is causing flaky tests they're finding, as well as has the missing integration into cloud services. These concerns around lack of automation capabilities struggle with creating reliable tests and fr frustration with limited option to integrate into their existing process. Rank high among the most pressing need of the modern developer that is hoping to embrace quality at scale. Simply put, developers want to test in the languages they prefer, compatible with the tooling that they prefer, and execute their reliable, reliability in the environment that they prefer. Beyond that, Development leaders understand that it's not testing lives in a vacuum and they need to ensure that they can unify these quality signal with other test efforts in the pipeline. So just to reiterate, with the proliferation of automation frameworks and tools coupled with the desire to achieve quality at speed, while still allowing developers to have their preferences while cloud quality shift left. There are new needs for these developers with how these tools interact. This need can be defined as a lack of observability and difficulties with maintenance of many different tools and systems. The lack of observability has the issue of the test automation not being enough. Testers need access to test artifacts, screenshot, video, logs, and insights across the browser and frameworks that are going to be available among all of the different toolings in an organization. Achieving quality at speed with different automation tools and needs can be difficult. However, there are a few solutions for these challenges. One of these solutions is source control. Source control is a solution designed for engineers to bring scalable testing earlier into software life cycle and is shift left to deliver quality at scale. Source control support new JavaScript automation frameworks and mobile automation frameworks and seamlessly integrate into your CI CD workflow to bring benefits of source cloud to new teams. Let's dive into functionality of source control here. You are able to simplify your test maintenance with pre-configured containers or VMs. 
You can run tests in parallel in CI CD or on source cloud to speed up your test execution. And you are able to report test data to source labs for debugging, analysis, and insights. Using source control, developers gain access to all the tools they need to execute their automated tests. Written in JavaScript languages of, the, of their choice, and the option to execute them however they choose. Developers can run their tests on source cloud, which can reduce resources and efforts on the developer's side. No matter which option they choose, those results are sent back to source labs, where they can take advantage of our debugging tools. But more importantly, all of their tests are captured in source inside platform where they can unify with every other test running on source labs. With a unified view of test data, developers and QA alike now have more complete view into entire health of their application. Before I jump into showing a demo of how source control looks and functions within the UI, I want to go over a high level of what the benefits of source controls are. First, high, high scalability. With a usage-based commercial model, you can run tests on source labs at scale, choose run sequentially, or increase concurrency when you need it. Source control provides flexibility. Choose your framework. Choose where you run tests. Playwright, Cypress, Test Cafe, XCY Test, Espresso, and Puppeteer, Docker only. Puppeteer replay coming soon, run locally in CI or on source infrastructure. Parallelization at scale. Specify the concurrency you need to speed up test execution times through parallel testing in CI CD on source labs infrastructure. Team alignment. Get a unified view of test signal across the multiple teams. All source labs plan have unlimited users. We also have single sign-on available for all of these. Team insights. Keep screenshot, video, and test log in source labs. See test trends across the teams. Support. Have access to the latest framework and uh, its supported browser version for testing. Infrastructure scalability through, entire, through enterprise SLAS and a dedicated account team. Now let's jump into a demo and so I can show you source control works within the UI. Here you will see we provide an uh, example for each uh, frame, test framework that we provided. You can download them through GitHub let me show you with playwright example. We put all of the test options in a, a config file. In a config file, you can specify how you run the test. You can run that in source or Docker, and you can specify the concurrency. Also, we provide different version of the supported platform and you can split your test suite into different groups and you can specify the platform, the matched files, also the browser. After that, we provide an option for artifacts. You can download whatever you execute test files to your local machine and you can analysis by your own. Also, we provide a notification for Slack. Once you, your test is done, it will send a notification or regarding to your sending options. You can send by always, fail, never, or pass. It will send an info to your channel. Now let's trigger this test. You can just trigger the test by a very simple source control run, and it will run the test on source cloud. You create three tests. One is WebKit, one is Firefox, and another is Chromium. And all of the tests are running in parallel.
After the test finished, you will see a table and uh, show your information about the suite name, duration, and the status, also the browser and platform information. You can review the uh, result in web UI. Here is the test that I just executed. You can click on the job details and you will see the, the test cases. It will show the details for the test cases. And also it will provide a video to record all of the test execution. And you can download the video for further analysis. Also, we also provide the, the logs here and all of the capture logs will placed here. And you can also download the logs from here. Once your test is done, you can also view them through the build link. Source Labs provide build overview for the build and you will see what's going on for your for all of the test. Thank you so much for your time. Let's see how we can work together to achieve digital confidence. Mm -hmm.